Okay, so now let's make our model wheels actually turn left or right. Let's open up the script and let's and let's copy this line of code. Uh, or actually we just need this for loop. And instead of using a input.get key w to get a a or a d we're going to use a uh, axis if input dot get axis and in here it's expecting expecting us to write a string now we want the axis to be horizontal so we can turn right right or left so we just write horizontal so to actually use this we, we we're gonna say if this is not equal to zero and whatever value this has if it's not zero that means it we're we're pressing D or A and that value can be from zero to one so the way we're gonna turn the actual wheels is by saying a for loop right here and instead of going to the all of the wheels we're gonna go to the first two wheels so the way we do that is length minus two so this is gonna go to the front right and the front left wheel and it's and it's gonna s n and here we're gonna say steer angle is equal to input dot get axis horizontal times the the multiplier we set in here and if we go back to our our code let it load and hit play it's actually turning but it's turning very slightly so we can boost this to like 20 and we fell off the map if we boost this to like 25 we can see we're turning okay perfect next step is to actually animate these wheels so they turn when the wheel collider turns to animate the wheels we're, we're gonna create a new function or a new blo block of code and we're gonna call it any mate wheels with no parameters we're gonna use this block of code okay so it takes the wheel position and it takes the actual wheel mesh but we don't have a wheel mesh right now right here so to get a, a wheel mesh is basically the same process we just do a public game object array of game object and wheel mesh is equal to new game object four we have four the same as we have these and instead of wheel colliders we only have wheels so if we save this and also we forgot to set the wheel steer angle to zero after we press right or left because this this is gonna be stuck at a value we uh, we press the 
horizontal keys. So let's set else the same loop. And let's just do this zero. And head over to our game. We can see wheel meshes. Now the wheel meshes are these. These folder of wheels. Let's copy them right there. Now if we hit play, we're gonna see weird stuff going on. That's because the wheel mesh and the actual wheel collider should not be in the same uh, space or in the same folder. So what we're gonna do is just copy the wheels and say wheel mesh and delete the mesh from here so now let's copy these and let's remove this wheel collider Now if we hit play, the wheels actually turn in a very funny way. Okay, to fix that, we're gonna hit play one more, one more time. And we're gonna see Okay, if we do that, if we rotate to 90 degrees, the wheels actually stay that way. So let's do that. Okay, perfect. Let's increase this to like 30. And some more power. Now let's hit play. Okay, we're stuck.